it going, everybody? So I'm the video here. Uh, I actually put up, I made a video. I was going to put it up. I was uh, talking about the collection I'm going to be doing or making, trying to make or whatever, and uh, what I've been playing. But uh, I got further on in the game. My opinions kind of changed on it. <clears throat> but the first things is the first thing is the collection is the PS2. I got 11 games for it. Uh, I figure it's the cheapest collection I can go for, other than the Xbox. I'm not really in the mood to try to collect for the Xbox again. And uh, I picked up a game uh, at the Goodwill in my town for the PS2. I thought it might have some value, and it didn't really. So I'm like, you know what? I tried selling my higher-priced PS2 games, and they weren't selling. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep these games. I was going to put them all together and try to sell them all 11 of them. I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get what I want for these games, so I'm going to keep them and uh, try to build on my collection. I'm probably going to go for like maybe 40 or 50 or try uh, fill up one row, which is probably about 65. So I may try to go that, uh, that many. But I have a few in mind I want to grab on top of the uh, 11 I have. So I was going to go for the GameCube, but the GameCube is kind of pricey. You know, a lot of the, the games I want, like Wind Waker and stuff like that, you know, Luigi's Mansion, uh, Eternal Darkness, you know, stuff like that is like 15, 20, 25 bucks. I just, it's too much, too much for those older games. You know, PS2, you can maybe buy a higher price game here or there, but not everyone's going to cost you that much. Like games like I want, like Blood Omen 2 or... Clock Tower 3 again, I may grab, or, or Prince of Persia, stuff like that. You're going to spend five or less, you know, even like the first God of War. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, stuff like that, you can get cheap. You know, some of the uh, Sly Coopers or stuff like that. So, I'm going to stick with that one. <clears throat> You know, I'd like, you know, if I can find GameCube games cheap at Garage Sales, I'll get them. Like, if I see Wind Waker for five bucks or something, I'm grabbing it, you know. I'll still try to grab games I do know I'll play for other systems. I'll still grab them. <clears throat> but, uh, and try, in terms of trying to get uh, a sizable collection for a system, it will be the PS2. How far that goes, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm more of a seller. That's what I am. I sell the things I get. Especially if they have value. That's the problem with the cube too. I have the Wind Waker. Wind Waker. I play it. I beat it. I'm not gonna want to really sit on it, especially because I know it, it sells. Especially if I get it for cheap. If I get it for five bucks, I'm gonna bet. Hmm. But right now I have pretty good cash, so it's a little different. <clears throat> you know, it depends on how much money I have at the time. But yeah, I'm gonna go PS2. I may pick up again. I'm gonna probably go up to the Goodwill again tomorrow. See what they got. PS2. They have like five, six PS2 games at a time, so if I see something I want, I'll grab it. Maybe grab, like, try to grab one of those a week or something like that. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, the game I've been playing, I got Dead Space 3 from Gamefly. I put up the video the other day. I didn't put it up, but uh, I filmed it like two days ago. I was going to put it up tonight, actually. Or not tonight, but earlier today. And uh, I didn't. I think I was on, at the time I filmed it, I was on Chapter 7. I actually put a gameplay video up. I didn't put it up, I filmed it too. But I cut off after like 23 minutes. I forgot there's only 23 minutes left in the camera. And, uh, but I'm not even going to put a video up. I was like, I forget it. There wasn't much action. Surprisingly, there wasn't that much action in that video. Much attacking. A bunch of enemies attacking me, surprisingly. But the game was pretty cool at first. It's not a bad game. I'm on chapter 15. Just I just got up to 15. <clears throat> I think there's 19. I just cycled through the thing. It said 19. But, uh, you know, I, just, I got to, like, right around chapter 12. And the game's pretty good. You know, I'm enjoying it. Right, but right up to about chapter 12, that game took a fucking nosedive from me, personally from me. You know, I fucking love the first two. Although, the, the end of the second one, the first, last two, like, chapters kind of soured me a little bit, but I still love the first two. The first one I love. The second one I still love. <laughs> This one's still not bad. I still like it. I think they're I think they're trying to do a little too much of everything in this one. There's repelling in this one where you gotta repel up cliffs, which is kind of annoying. 
<clears throat> combat's still there. I swear, though, after this 12th thing, you know, there's, there's side missions in this one, which is kind of cool. I'm trying to do all the side missions, you know, just, ex you know, extend stuff, because you, you, you get, like, more items and stuff. You don't, uh, you don't, like, buy stuff in this one from the stores. You can make stuff, you craft stuff in this one, you pick up uh, stuff, scrap, and stuff like that. You can build health packs and ammunition. You build your weapons and stuff like that. You can add on to weapons. You can add second pieces to weapons for extra shit. <clears throat> Or you can add stuff onto weapons so we can do other stuff like acid or electricity and whatever. And uh, stuff like that. <clears throat> right now I'm like using a shotgun that's beefed up and the plasma cut is beefed up. But uh, you got a little, in the, uh, little scavenger bot too that goes around. You can send it around and it will bring stuff back to the workbench. But you know, uh, I'm scared, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting stuff and making stuff. But uh, you know, you, you want to do side missions to get extra stuff. Man, the side missions is just them throwing enemies at you. Like, these games will throw enemies at you to begin with. But I swear, like, it must be like 15,000 enemies. I swear, it's ridiculous. Like, these side missions are just it, enemies on top of enemies. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I was getting so pissed off in this one side mission I just did. It's like elevator malfunctions, here comes 15 enemies, you walk into a room, here comes 6 enemies, alright, you go 2 rooms later, here comes another 4, oh wait, no, make that 6, you know, you get into another room, here comes uh, 6 of these annoying little enemies, and you're, in a, you're you're busting up 3 of them, oh, one of them grabbed you, you're gonna hit A if you, you gotta hit A, 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 and of course it's grabbing you, but it's it's getting your health while you're hitting A, which is annoying, it's like you figure you'll grab it, and you gotta hit it quick enough, and you get it off, it doesn't do anything, no, it's getting your health regardless. And that sucks because it breaks up the action because you're busting them up and one of them happens to grab you, you gotta hit A. I mean, the, the shotgun I put, I put a bottom piece on the shotgun so it does a good melee attack which roughs up a lot of shit. But I mean, man, it's annoying. I, I feel like almost every room you go into, here comes enemies, here comes enemies, it's just ridiculous. It really frustrates me, I don't know. I mean, those games have always had a hard on for throwing enemies at you. Like, there's no build up in that game. There's no like like a Silent Hill or a Fatal Frame, you're walking around and you're like, oh shit, no enemies appeared for 10 minutes, you're like, when's it coming, oh crap, and, and you build up that tension, and, and it never comes, and you're like, holy shit, and you're just, it's in your mind, this is just like, here comes 20, here comes another 20, you know, it's just constant, it, 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 it's just getting on my nerves, it really is, I don't know, and like I said, it's not a bad game, but it's just, it's getting, it's getting to that point, actually, I mean, you know, it really is, <clears throat> there's a lot more, uh, outer space stuff in this one, you're going into outer space and then doing more stuff in this one, <clears throat> I mean, the side missions were kind of cool, but that last one was annoying, even the other, some of the other ones, you know, you, you, it's just like, enemies, 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 I mean, thankfully you get a crap ton of ammo, but, uh, you know, and you get these amount of health too, <clears throat> but it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Like you think, oh, all right, there's two enemies. Oh no, here come another two. Here come another two. Here come another two. <laughs> it's and it's like, oh wait, and that that thing from the the second one comes back that regenerates. That thing would chase me around a little bit earlier on when like the, the engines were the, you get a ship and then the engines are going off. You, the flames are coming. You got to avoid the flames. Here comes that thing. Oh wait, the cargo lift's not coming down fast enough. Elevator, you got to wait for that too. It's I don't know. It's annoying. And they have like the monster closet scares. You know, like oh, like the doom will be. If there comes a thing, come jumps out of the thing every five seconds. It's it's like all right, here we go. <clears throat> Those games aren't creepy or anything. You know. The first one did atmosphere great. It wasn't really creepy, but the atmosphere was good. Kind of has that uncharted flow to it. First one's probably the best, and you don't realize it at first because the second one ups the ante that much more, and you're so ex into the second one because it's so over the top. You know, it does so much more than the first, and then you, after you play the second, you're, like, you're done <laughs> blowing your load over it. You're like, you come back down, and you're like. I think the first one's better, you know, and, and, and I think that was the same thing for me with Uncharted, the same thing with Dead Space, the first one's the better game, <clears throat> and I say the third one, the third one's trying to up the ante on the second one by doing so much more stuff, and it's just like, no, <laughs> no, 
And this one just for whatever for me, you know, it's just like it, it was thin. pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And that's just me, you know. That's my opinion. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you fucking don't play the game or anything like that. I'm gonna beat it. You know, and maybe I should just try to avoid some of these side missions, but you know, I wanna get that ammo, I wanna get those extra parts to put on my guns and stuff, but if I couldn't get, I ended up beating it. If I if if, I, if it was giving me trouble again, I was gonna just say fuck it. <clears throat> you know, I'm still having fun with it. You know, if it was that annoying, I would not play it. Like I said, the com I mean, the combat's still good and stuff, and the graphics are great. But I, I don't know. <clears throat> you know if you know, these games try too, they try too hard. Yeah. <clears throat> And the Unitologists are in this one, they're fucking shit up. You're killing actually uh, humans in this one. Early on you are, Isaac's like, hiding and hiding, and then these guys grab him to go get your ex-girlfriend and shit, she's lost or whatever, and they can't find her, and then the Unitologists blow something up, and then you gotta kill some of them, and then they pop up again, you're on a, on a snow planet now, you're like in space doing some stuff, then you go to a snow planet, and that's where you are now. I assume that's where you spend the rest of the game, maybe you don't. <laughs> Because you do a prologue mission in the beginning with 200 years earlier where the first marker appeared or whatever. <clears throat> but anyway, overall it's a decent game. It's not nearly as good as the other two. <clears throat> I can see why it got a little shit on in some reviews. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Speaking of which, I gotta, I gotta download uh, later. Uh, on PlayStation Plus, they just, for free this uh, month, uh, uh, Drea. Sleep the Dragon's Dog. Sleeping Dogs is free this month. I gotta get on that, man, because I wanna play that. That's awesome. <clears throat> That'll be keeping me busy. That looked really cool. I watched some videos on that. But yeah. Other than that, uh, it's just been Dead Space 3. I gotta get back to uh, Spec Ops Online. Oh, I beat Dark Void too, finally. And I just had like five minutes left of that. I was in the end boss. That was a pretty mediocre game. A little bit better than mediocre. It wasn't bad. I got it for like three bucks used or something. The flying it was it was made by the guy. Most of the guys who did Crimson Skies. So the flying was really cool, you know. Foot stuff was alright. <clears throat> but it was, it was decent, I guess. <clears throat> Check it out. I mean it's like a five or six dollar game. I think it's like ten bucks new at most places. Definitely worth that. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, I guess if you're into Dead Space, you could pick that game up, but uh, it's, it's not as good as the first two. I played through the first one multiple times. I had it on the Xbox hard drive. I remember when I first got it for PS3. I, I got that game, like, when it came out, and I was just fucking blown away by it. It was awesome. I beat it on the PS... I beat it on the PS3 twice. I beat it on the Xbox twice. Just... just that game's phenomenal. I beat the second one twice. The second one's great, too. And it's that thing that regenerates in the second one is chasing you at the end, and, and it's that frustrating me too. But, uh, yeah, this one's just that like, annoying. You know, I, I, I got I got calmed down after that side mission, but even before that, the repelling stuff was just annoying me, and the constant enemy action. There's so many enemies in this game. I mean, they just keep coming and coming and coming. Like, you're like, how many people? Because you know, the necromorph thing is like they overtake bodies, I guess, or whatever, like, you know, the marker thing comes and be like, how many people are around these places? Like, a million, like, how many people are doing these expedition things? Like, there's, like, millions of people? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <clears throat> Overall, it's not terrible, though. I'm still playing. It's not complete bottle of shit, you know, it's well-produced and stuff, but that's it for what I'm playing. <clears throat> it's kind of good, too, on YouTube, you know, because I just did that and it was annoying me. I'm like, I want to put this video. I kind of want to vent a little bit. That's what's good about YouTube. It's good to vent. Instead of me just bitching like we all have, I guess, you know, you're playing a game and I'm sitting there, like, doing my random bitching. <laughs> but, yeah. That's it for what I'm playing. And, uh, it's my little PS3 collection here. I'll clean up these shelves and, uh, start that up. And hopefully, uh, Garage Sale Season picks up here soon. And get some good pickup videos up. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, that's it. And, uh, thanks everybody for checking it out and have a good night. <laughs>